So, uh, hi everyone. I'm going to show you the uh, Windows Mobile uh, 7 on the HTC HD2. Um, so, this is the bootloader uh, when you first start the machine. Um, and then uh, you can see the Dark Forces team logo out there. And then this will be followed up with the Windows 7 introduction screen. So, it's, uh, it's a pretty impressive. Uh, thing that DFT managed to actually crack um, or hack the uh, HTC HD2 as you can see um, to run Windows Phone. Now um, this is very interesting uh, I was looking forward to this for quite a while so now you can see that uh, it's loaded up and I must say it is very very responsive so you can see over here that uh, you know that the applications are all there the different tiles uh, you have the active tiles over here, so you can see that's like an active tile over here, the weather in Hong Kong. Um, I have been able to also hack this based on the different uh, forum postings on getting Marketplace to work, so that's why I've now got all these different apps over here as well. Now, very, very responsive. Um, sorry, yeah. So now you can see that uh, this is the big list of all the other apps which I have over here and if you obviously want to move an app across um, all you've got to do is really uh, click on a particular app so for example you got a camera here and a lot, it'll you know load up the camera so the camera works uh, quite well uh, actually everything on the phone works uh, reasonably well and sort of saved me the hassle of actually buying a Windows phone Windows 7 phone to try things out so if you want to move it to your uh, start page you just uh, hold on to a particular icon for a while and then click pin to start and then it comes straight down here now to show you how responsive this is uh, let me just look into um, perhaps the um, the calendar function right so you've got the calendar you click on it and you know you've got the day agenda you get the month view now it really is uh, quite impressive uh, if you look at if you look at how how fast this actually changes um, to and fro back so there we go instantaneous um, you know really instantaneous in terms of how well the HTC 2 actually handles this um, now if I go to people mode you know I've got all my Facebook friends over here um, and then I can have my recent photos cell phone numbers and of course all the Facebook postings so again, very very impressive. Uh, Internet Explorer. It's not too bad. Here I'm using a 3G data connection, so uh, obviously it's taking a bit of time to load. But uh, generally speaking, the IE experience has got. I think it's got the WebKit on there, so it's not too bad either. Oh my, it is really slow. So let me just get out of here. Um, it's a very heavy site actually. Um, Messaging functions, quite straightforward. My KFC order, <laughs> so there you can see. Uh, you know, it's got similar to the iPhone. You get the conversations going in the thread mode. Um, what I like is again the emails. The way the emails actually come up uh, is quite nice. Um, you know, if I click on uh, a particular email here, obviously it gives you the whole HTML view um, and if you double click it obviously it just zooms in down to the thing now what I like about um, this whole thing is the fact that it's very very clear um, you know it's a very clear clear clean interface if I want to delete something just click delete and there it goes if I want to create a new message you know it just uh, pops up there and, and it's a lovely keyboard Quite honestly, it's a great keyboard. Um, if you want to send a message, click on send button, and you know the, the alerts and everything are very very clean. So how do the HTC buttons work? So you've got the different buttons at the bottom over here. So obviously this is to power on, power off, right? Um, and then the back button is to really move to the previous page, and that's a unique, uh, that's a really nice feature. The Windows button brings you back to the Windows home page and this but other button over the home button on the HTC2 becomes like your uh, Bing search function or if you're within another app 
you can use that button to search within the particular app. Um, yeah, so it's it's quite nifty. Uh, I'm quite happy with it. It's given a new uh, sense of life to my actual phone, and and the apps by themselves uh, are quite you know obviously not as extensive as the, as the ones on, uh, on on the iTunes store, but you know they're okay. Um, the uh, GPS map uh, engine is not too bad. Um, so let's see. Uh, the things probably still connecting. Yeah, okay. I think the GPS link is, is um, pretty um, straightforward, and uh, I quite like that. Now, um, the call function for phone call, phone dialing. Obviously, you get your numbers behind. You press this, and then you get a keypad. Um, you know, so it's it's pretty uh, simple, and what I like about uh, the phone is they've kept they've kept things as simple as possible, quite honestly. So, so like if I go to settings, you'll see it it's not over over the top. You know, the old Windows 6.5 had so many settings. This is a lot easier to navigate. So you have settings for systems, and then you have settings for applications. Yeah, it's a bit like the iPhone settings for applications. Um, So you know the uh, other individual apps are, are pretty good. Um, you have your to-do lists, etc. The interface is very clean. I, th I think that's that's what's really amazed me about uh, about this particular release. Uh, YouTube app, which is part of the HTC thing, is pretty nice as well. Um, so yeah, you get you know it's got, a, and then you scroll to the right to see the most viewed apps. Uh, sorry, most viewed movies, and then most discussed etc so you know excuse my um, 3G connection is not really up to scratch today um, so you've got the marketplace so let's go to marketplace and then marketplace you've got a list of all the applications which are currently available so you know uh, you've got the HTC apps here and then you've got all the other different games and all of the other ones so if I go to entertainment for example you know so this is a hacked version like I said so it's quite great that I've actually managed to get uh, the marketplace working so you know you've got the different apps um, and then you've got to just scroll left to right here to get together the different apps in different categories so anyway uh, that's what I was talking to so if you want to search within any your address book or whatever you can press this particular uh, home, uh, home screen logo and it allows you to search within that application Great, so uh, the last thing is probably Office. Again, a very clean interface. Um, you know, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Uh, pretty neat. So, yeah, uh, give me a buzz if you've got uh, an interesting review on, uh, on Windows Mobile 7 running on HTC HD2. So, yeah, thanks again for watching.